Hello everyone! Today I'm going to discuss about things that you should never do when you're inside the plane. Yeah. When you board a plane, the goal is very simple. To get to your destination as safely and as pleasantly as possible. Siyempre, walang abiriya. But sometimes we get in our way. So to be a safer and a more courteous traveler, these are the things that you should never do while inside a plane. Number one, don't joke about bombs. Kung gusto nyo mahuli at kung gusto nyo makulong, say it. Kasi nahuhuli na ngayon ang mga nagjo-joke about bombs. There are people who like just to joke about bombs, but they don't realize the consequence that will happen to them if they do it. Huhulihin kayo, makukulong kayo, mamimedia pa kayo. Airline take bomb threats very seriously. Siniseryoso nila to. Especially when you're inside the plane, joke about bombs is definitely a no-no. Also, it's a quick way for people around you to get comfortable and scared, di ba? And as I've said, the worst case scenario is you're gonna be kicked out of the plane. They will interrogate you and charge you. So you're going to go to jail. Remember, flight attendants have the power to remove you from the flight if they think you are a security risk. So never, never joke about bombs inside the plane. Number two, don't sit in your seat the entire flight. Especially if matagal yung flight. Example, 11 to 13 hour flight. When you are on a plane, you are at a higher risk to develop thrombosis, DBT which is a type of blood clot that usually forms in your legs. DVT nga has been coined as an economy class syndrome. So you can walk at the back for a few minutes, stay there, do a little stretching, then go back to your seat. But remember ha, huh? may sapatos, put your shoes on when you walk. Also, try not to wear tight clothing, yung mga skinny jeans, especially when you're on flight. The most important thing uh, is to try to move around as much as you can, stretch, move your legs, so there will be a lot of circulation. Remember, it's an 11 to 12 hour flight. Number three, don't recline your seats during mealtime. Kunyari, tapos na kayo kumain. Don't recline your seat kasi hindi mo alam kung may kumakain sa likod. Once the food and the drink carts are rolling in, that means it's mealtime. It's important to realize that there's someone behind you who's using the tray that's attached to your back seat. Keep in mind, remember, that maybe they're still finishing their meals or they're tending to their infant. So, wag nyo bababa or wag nyo recline yung seat nyo during mealtime. Recline na lang your seat when meals are already finished. Number four. Don't drink too much. When I say drink, that would mean alcohol. No one naman will complain if you have a glass of wine or beer during dinner. But overindulging in alcohol can actually make you feel intoxicated. Baka malasing ka. So, kung malasing ka, baka in the next stop over, you might be kicked out because of your behavior. Also, always remember, no one wants the man to sit next to a guy who smells like alcohol, then leans on your shoulder, or worse, vomits. So remember this, don't drink too much alcohol. Number five, don't drink the water inside the plane. This includes liquids with water like coffee or tea. Research show that even flight attendants don't drink plain water that they got inside the plane. Kasi you don't want the man to drink anything that could possibly be made with tap water from the plane. One study revealed that in the planes that they have tested, almost half failed the water safety standards. One study tested 158 aircraft, 20 tested for coliform bacteria, and two tested positive for E. coli bacteria. Another reason why you need to avoid coffee or tea or even soft drinks inside the plane because caffeine slightly dehydrates you. So, if you want to drink water inside the plane, buy or get a bottled water. Now, if there's bottled coffee, you can get it, but mix it with bottled water so it won't dehydrate you. Okay? Number six, don't eat smelly food. 
Now, during mealtime, I know some of us, nagbabaon tayo, we bring food from the airport. Please don't eat stinky or smelly food. Example, tuna sandwich. Amoy na amoy yon. Or let's say a plate of onion rings. Or, alam mo yung pusit na spicy pusit na binibili sa grocery. Ang sarap nun. Pero my gosh, pag kinain mo yun sa plate, amoy na amoy yon. Pawa naman yung katabi mo. It will not only stink while you're eating, but you'll also get bad breath during the entire flight. So stay out of smelly food. Number seven, this is short lang. Don't wear contact lenses. Whenever you fly, don't wear contact lenses. Just wear glasses. Remember, the air inside the plane is very, very dry. Thus, it can really irritate your eyes. So better yet, during the flight, wear glasses. Number eight, inside the plane, don't take your shoes off or walk around without shoes. This is a no-no when flying. Remember this. As you know naman, especially in the economy, most planes have three seats per row. And it's very cramped. And you know naman inside the plane, there's poor ventilation. So be cautious not to remove your shoes. Kasi, of course, it's gonna be smelly. There are times that you're going to be seated with someone you wouldn't know. So, example, if you smell a perfume from the lady behind you, edi pareho rin pag inalis mo yung sapatos mo, they might smell your feet. Also, don't walk around without any shoes. Number one, they seldom vacuum the carpet sa airplane. You wouldn't know if a person vomited there. You wouldn't know if an infant peed there, nagwiwi doon. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know even if may nakulog na glass doon. So masas masasaktan ka pa. There are times that I see a lot of people going to the bathroom walking barefoot. Even yung mga bata. Nako, it's full of germs. So for your safety, don't walk barefoot inside the plane. Also, this is important, never walk barefoot in the galley. Kasi sometimes the flight attendants drop glasses and there could be a sharp glass there. Sasaktan ka pa. Sometimes I see people walking barefoot to the bathroom. Nako, tapos nag-shake. Kung basa yung water sa floor ng bathroom, that's that water. You know what it is. It's pee. It's wee wee, di ba? Shock. So never, never walk barefoot inside the plane. Number nine, do not put your feet on the armrest. You know what's worse than going barefoot inside the plane? Travelers who put their feet on the armrest. It's super annoying. It's super gross. It's rude. I know there are flights that are not full of people. Example, connecting flight from Doha to Munich. So since walang tao or konti lang ang tao, travelers seem to believe that armrests are a perfect way to relax and stretch out their feet without even feeling guilty or ashamed. But gosh, it's very rude. It's not your house. And it's unsightly to put your legs for people to see. Diba? So next time you feel cramped because of the lack of any leg room, just try to massage your body and your legs or take a short walk to the galley. At this point, if you have any comments, suggestions, or addition to all my tips, please put it in the comments below. Number 13, don't shut off or close your air vent. I know malabig sa plane, it gets chilly at times, but it's best to put a sweatshirt or a jacket rather than switching off the vent. Why? It's highly advisable for you to set the adjustable air to medium or high while airborne so that the bacteria or germs can be blown away by the vent before they could enter your personal space. The turbulent air from the vent is designed to create a germ barrier, preventing airborne particles to land on your body by driving them to the ground instead. By keeping your vent on a medium setting, you minimize the risk of breathing the airborne germs for both yourself and the other passenger in your ventilation section. So next time na nilalamig kayo, just put on a sweater and a cap. We go to number 14. Don't abuse the flight attendant's call button. The flight attendant's first priority is to keep us all safe, not to cater to our every whim. So use discretion when deciding when to push that call button. Now, if you're feeling ill or it's an overnight flight and you want to request for water, then you can hit the button. Now, if the flight attendant is serving dinner, then be patient. Don't press the button. Also, remember, don't use that button during inappropriate times. Example, when the seatbelt sign is on 
Of course, when the seat belt sign is on, everyone should be seated, even the flight attendants. So decide with discretion when to push that button. 15. Now we go to the last tip. Don't be rude to your flight attendants and never touch them. Most times, flight attendants are really trying their best, even if they don't have the answers all the time. Always put in mind that sometimes they deal with disgruntled, arrogant, rude passengers. So very simply, let's be nice. Also, as I've said, never touch your flight attendants. I can see a lot of passengers, they touch the flight attendants on the shoulder, in the hips, especially when they want attention. But that's already their personal space. Let's not invade that. So again, so be courteous to our flight attendants. Let's not be rude. Let's all be nice. Okay? Now tapos na naman tayo with our session. I hope you learned a lot from these tips and I hope it will be useful for you. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy being with you all the time. So till my next tip and my next video. Ingat kayo lagi and stay safe. Bye! You minimize the risk. You minimize the risk. Risk. <laughs> you minimize the risk of breathing the germs. And use the paper towel. And use the yeah. And use the paper towel to flush. And use. And use the pa And use the paper towel to flush the toilet and open the door.